Time for America First. In the face of Joe Biden's push for an assault weapons ban and other gun restrictions, 2021 is shaping up to be another record year for gun sales in this country. Here to discuss this is the Motor City Madman himself, my friend Ted Nugent, one of America's great musicians. Ted was also named favorite hunting personality by the readers of Outdoor Magazine. Ted, who to think Democrats would be the best gun salesman in America? Well, a big salute to everybody who wants to take away our Second Amendment rights because gun sales and ammo sales are going through the ceiling, concealed weapons permits are going through the ceiling, and more and more governors are signing in the self-evident truth that we the people have a constitutional right to our First Amendment and our Second Amendment. So these are crazy times. So the positive spirit is still alive and well out here, Eric. A very happy springtime in spite of the cultural suicide cluster bomb 2021. I'm in Texas, so we're not immune from the insanity. And your report tonight indicates what the left's agenda is. The once great Northwest, I mean, it's turned into an absolute hellhole of crime and violence, engineered recidivism, and the celebration of loss of life and destruction of family businesses yeah. so the right to keep and bear arms and keep means it's mine you can't have it and bear means i have a couple on me right now and they're loaded that self-evident truth is alive and well out here and i promise you eric they're not going to take that right away. You know, Ted, I'm you, here to declare that for Thank you. you for listening to the monologue. I wrote that, and I wrote that in there, and I'm watching all the violence happening, and I'm hearing defund the police all over the place, and then it struck me as in the same period, they want to also make it harder for, our, uh, for us to, to keep and bear arms, as you point out, constitutional right. What is that a recipe for? Well, again, that... <laughs> Even guitar players can figure this stuff out. I mean, that is a recipe for evil overpowering good. And I got to tell you, Eric, I hang around with a lot of great families every day of my life here in Texas, and I'm in communication with great families all over the world. I think the most important indicator right now is not the self-evident truth that we, the people of the United States of America, stand for and continue to believe in and, and, and celebrate, but around the world, I'm hearing from people from every corner of the planet going, Uncle Ted, what the hell are you guys letting happen to America? We Look to America as the last only good place where you have individual freedoms as guaranteed by that sacred constitution and bill of rights. They're looking at America right now, literally with this freak in the White House and his gang that violate their oath every day. The rest of the world is sitting back and going, America, you better put the brakes on because you're turning into Portland and San Francisco and homeless and feces and needles and exploding crime rates that is engineered. So that pulse of goodwill and decency is alive and well out here. But I got to tell you, Eric, anybody that's not a member of the National Rifle Association or Gun Owners of America or your state Second Amendment organization, if you're not an actual active member in those organizations, Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden like to thank you. Yeah. Hey, Ted, I want you, speaking of administration uh, control, can you play the side of uh, Joe Biden? Uh, just a couple days ago, it is his State of Union or whatever that address was called. Take a listen regarding guns. This shouldn't be a red or blue issue. And no amendment to the Constitution is absolute. You can't yell fire in a crowded theater. Ted, did you hear that? No amendment to the Constitution is absolute. That was the most scary line of that whole address. Well, I, I'll go ahead and retort. Now, Tim Scott did a good job, but I'll do a better job. Yes, it is, Mr. President. They're all sacred. They're self-evident truths. They are the pillar of the greatest quality of life and the greatest opportunity for freedom and life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness in the history of the world. You might want to read your oath to the Constitution and the Bill of Rights because all those words are sacred, and we the people are going to do a hell of a job holding you to 
constitutional accountability. Even though it appears that he's completely out of control, I have a feeling that people are waking up and that there's a new turn of events coming up, Eric, because they're, the left is so vulgar, so obscene, so glaringly evil on the side of crime and destruction and rape and murder and arson and anarchy that good Americans who were trying to be gentlemanly in the past are now realizing that the other side, it literally is us good against that evil. So I think it's a great wake-up call. All right, Ted, awesome having you on again, my friend. Good to see you, Motor City Mad Men. Thanks for joining us. Godspeed. God bless America, Eric. You too, my friend. The, the hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.